Hello Minecraft, I um, just wanted to show you a really simple compact form of timer that I've stumbled upon. Um, so probably like you, I've been using repeaters like this to slow down responses and of course we know it takes up a lot of real estate, it's not very efficient. But what I've stumbled across is this, is that I've seen a bouncing timer using this technique. You can summon an entity, or an item obviously, but a floating entity, and you can set how old it is. And this means, in this example, this door will stay open for 10 seconds, which in the past would have required a lot of awkward repeaters or other techniques that aren't always ideal. But here we go, that, that closed in 10 seconds. Um, and so all that's happening here is a stone item, item ID 1, is with an age of 5,800 ticks, I believe it is, um, is being summoned just one block above this command block, and that's just zipping over in this probably not very elegant design. But um, we can see another little use for it here. In this case, let's say you just want to trigger this fanfare, but you don't want them to be able to do it again. I quite like this. It, what's happening now is, because the pressure plate is pushed down, it's inhibiting this, nothing, no other input is going to do anything. And um, these little blocks can't even actually be picked up, so we couldn't even interfere with it like that. And there you have it. This one's programmed for, that's basically 30 seconds. So I c I'll go into it in the um, description. But what it comes down to is uh, six um, items disappear after five minutes, um, and that's 6,000 ticks, I believe. So in this case, I've so that means 600 ticks is 30 seconds. I believe I've got that right. Yeah, 1,200 is a minute, 600 is 30 seconds. So I've just taken 600 off its age. So And finally, it hits 6,000, which means it's five minutes old, and the game knows to, to get rid of it. And... Um, I don't know, hopefully if you've been looking for something like this, this will prove useful. Bye for now.